Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is my guide to the Sonatus Compressor in Cakewalk. Different sounds have a tendency to be a different volume and a compressor is designed to level that volume to make it easier to mix. Click on Plugins. Click on Audio Effects. Click on the plus icon to the left of the Dynamics folder. Then drag the Sonatus compressor to an audio track. The Bypass button turns the compressor on or off. So you can compare the effect on an audio track. The Undo button lets you remove any changes you make to the settings. The Setup button lets you switch between setups, Setup A and Setup B, so you can compare the different settings. The Reset button sets the current setup back to the default settings. The Presets button lets you select a ready-made setup. Click on the Preset button. Then click on Music on the pop-up menu. Now click on Vocals GR4 to 10 dB for a good preset for vocal tracks. The stereo input meter shows the volume of the audio track before compression. Taking this quiet moment, breathe through the pain. Threshold sets how loud the sound has to be to switch on the compressor. Ratio sets how much the volume above the threshold will be reduced by. The higher the number, the greater the volume will be reduced back down towards the threshold volume. Knee sets the range of volume above and below the threshold the volume reduction is applied to. The higher the number, the smoother the volume reduction is applied. When the number is zero, the knee is called hard. The type button changes between a normal compression curve and a vintage compression curve. Gain is used to boost or reduce the volume of the output volume. Output shows the volume of the audio track after compression and can be adjusted by increasing or decreasing the gain. Attack sets how quickly the compression reaches the set ratio. The higher the number of milliseconds, the longer it takes to reach maximum volume reduction. Setting attack low can make the audio less punchy and blend more into the rest of the song. Release sets how long the compressor stays at maximum volume reduction after the volume of the audio track goes below the threshold. Setting the release too low can make the compression sound obvious and unnatural. Setting the release too high can stop the compression working properly. The limiter button turns the limiter on or off. The limiter automatically reduces the volume when the audio track volume is close to overloading the output and avoids the audio clipping. TCR automatically sets the release time based on the audio input in real time. Move the marker on the stereo input meter to set the threshold to suit the audio input. The threshold level should be set so the average audio level is around the threshold. 
Taking this quiet moment Breathe through the pain Listen to the pitter patter Of the rain Cause here it comes again For a vocal track, the output level wants to be around minus 18 dB. Move the marker on the gain meter to adjust the output level. Taking this quiet moment, breathe through the pain. Listen to the pitter patter of the rain. Cause here it comes again. The numbers above the output meter show the maximum output level. Finally, we have the gain reduction meter. This shows the amount of compression or sound reduction that is being applied to the audio track and is the result of the threshold, ratio, knee and gain settings. The number above the gain reduction meter shows the maximum reduction. I would recommend keeping the amount of gain reduction down to less than 4 dB. The pain. Listen to the pitter patter of the rain, cause here it comes again. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.